Hello friends, in this video we'll be discussing one more example of trigonometric form of Fourier series, full range series, 0, 2 pi interval. This is our third problem. Welcome back friends. Let's have a look on the given problem. We are done with two problems. This is our third problem. This is the given question. Remember friends, so Fourier series is the simplest topic. Let me help you out. Here, if you observe in the problem, we do have x as well as 2 pi minus x. Can you tell me what is the derivative of x? 1. Next derivative, 0. What is the derivative of 2 pi minus x? Minus 1. Next derivative is 0. You know the derivatives. Cos nx integration, sin nx upon n sin nx integration minus cos nx upon n. What next? Sin n countered in 0 pi and 2 pi. Cos n pi minus 1 raised to n. Cos 2 n pi 1. Now check. These are the things that will be required in the problem. If you are comfortable with the things, you cannot lose marks in Fourier series. And three points, very important points that you need to remember. What's that? Use brackets properly, sign and counter, and finally simplify before substitution. If you know this much, let's start with the problem. f of x is given by a0 by 2 plus summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity an cos nx plus summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity bn sin nx. This is the required Fourier series, three coefficients, a0, a, n, b, n. Let's find it out. a0, the formula is 1 upon pi, 0 to 2 pi, f of x, dx. If you observe the problem, this problem is divided into two intervals, 0 to pi and from pi to 2 pi. Therefore, we need to divide this integration into two parts, 1 upon pi, First integration will go from 0 to pi fx dx and the second integration will go from pi to 2 pi because function is divided here. Let us substitute. This is 1 upon pi. This is 0 to pi. f of x. We do have x plus pi to 2 pi. f of x is 2 pi minus x. Let's integrate. X integration is x square by 2 from 0 to pi plus 2 pi minus x integration as discussed in the last problem. Ax plus b raised to n. Ax plus b raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 a. Same way. This is 2 pi minus x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 and with x we do have minus sign therefore it will be minus 1 from pi to 2 pi. You can individually integrate also 2 pi integration is 2 pi x minus x integration is x square by 2 that you can also do no problem. Let us substitute the limits this is 1 upon pi if I'll substitute upper limit that is pi, I'll get pi square by 2. For lower limit 0, the answer is 0. Plus, let me do it here. If I'll substitute the upper limit that is 2 pi, 2 pi minus 2 pi is 0. Minus, let me substitute the lower limit that is pi. 2 pi minus pi is pi. That is pi square upon minus 2. This is basically plus. Therefore, it is 1 upon pi, pi square by 2. This is pi square by 2. This is also pi square by 2. Pi square by 2 plus pi square by 2 is pi square. Therefore, finally, a0 that we got is pi. Let's find it out a n. And the formula is 1 upon pi 0 to 2 pi f of x cos nx dx same story 1 upon pi outside function is divided into two parts from 0 to pi fx is x cos nx 
प्लस फ्रॉम पाई टू टू पाई वी डू हैव टू पाई माइनस एक्स लेट्स फाइंड इट आउट ए एन द फॉर्मूला इज वन अपॉन पाई जीरो टू टू पाई एफ ऑफ एक्स कॉस एन एक्स डी एक्स विच इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन पाई सेम ओल्ड स्टोरी जीरो टू टू पाई डिवाइड इन टू टू इंटरवल्स फ्रॉम जीरो टू पाई इट इज एक्स कॉस एन एक्स एंड फ्रॉम पाई टू टू पाई इट इज टू पाई माइनस एक्स इन टू कॉस एन एक्स डी एक्स वी नीड टू इंटीग्रेट हियर देर आर टू इंटीग्रेशन बट इट इज वेरी सिंपल वॉट इज द फर्स्ट पॉइंट रिमेंबर द पॉइंट यूज ब्रैकेट्स प्रॉपरली because if you follow the points problems are very simple 1 upon pi the only problem with four years are proper problems are lengthy student generally gets stuck somewhere in between so properly bracket use and follow the steps you will get the answer here friend it is u and this is v this is u and this is v based on liet rule let's start u as it is x as it is see the brackets cos nx integration sin nx upon n minus x derivative is 1 sin nx integration is minus cos nx upon n square no need to go ahead because one derivative is 0 and here we do have limits from 0 to pi Plus, let's integrate the second part. U as it is, that is two pi minus x as it is. Cos n x integration is sine n x upon n minus derivative of this term. Two pi derivative is zero minus x derivative is minus one. Integration of this term sine n x minus cos n x upon n square. What next? No need to go ahead. Did you understand why? Yes, because its derivative is. Zero. Step number two and three. Sine encounter. Step number three. Always simplify before substitution. Remember the steps. Sine encounter. This will be gone. This will be gone. Let's simplify first before substitution. This term, it is minus into minus plus. That is cos n x upon n square. We are left with this only. And for second integral, we are left with this term only. And in that term, there are triple minus, 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 minus. That is minus cos n x upon n square. And the limits are from pi to two pi. Let us substitute one upon pi. If I substitute upper limit here, that will become cos n pi. As discussed, what is cos n pi? Minus one raised to n. Therefore, this will be minus one raised to n upon n square minus lower limit. If I substitute zero here, this will be cos zero, and cos zero is one. This is the first part plus. Let's substitute in the second. If I substitute the upper limit, that is two pi, that will become cos two n pi. Cos two n pi is one. And with this minus, this is minus one upon n square. Minus a lower limit. If I substitute pi, that will become cos n pi. And cos n pi is minus one raised to n. Minus minus one is to n upon n square. Let's simplify this. If you see these terms, this and this term will become double, and this and this term will become double. That is two minus one is to n upon n square. This is double, and this is also double. If you take Two common. This will be two upon pi and n square in the denominator as LCM. In the numerator, you will get minus one days to n minus 
one. Always remember, friends, a note. Whenever we get plus minus minus one raised to n plus minus one. This node is very important. Whenever we get plus minus minus one raised to n plus minus one, there are four terms plus minus plus minus. If you get situation like this, always check E1 naught. This E1 naught is different from minus pi to pi minus L to L. That E1 naught broad E1 naught is different. This is the internal part of the solution. A n is equal to C here. What we got is 2 upon pi n square. Inside we are left with minus 1 raised to n minus 1. Suppose n is E1 and suppose n is odd. What will happen? Let us check. If n is E1, let's take any value of n that is E1. Here, minus 1 raised to any even power. Let's say 2, let's say 4, let's say 6. Minus 1 raised to 2, minus 1 raised to 4 is 1. And 1 minus 1 will be 0. And 0 into anything is 0. The entire term will become 0. And what if n is odd? If you put n is odd, let's say 3, let's say 5. Minus 1 cube is minus 1. Minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. This minus 2 multiplied with this 2 is a minus 4 upon pi n square. This is the value of a n. When to check this e1 odd? Whenever we get situation like this. We are done with a n. Now let us find it out b n. The formula for b n is 1 upon pi 0 to 2 pi f of x sin nx dx 1 upon pi again 0 to 2 pi is divided into two parts 0 to pi it is x and from pi to 2 pi it is 2 pi minus x. This is u, this is v, this is u, this is v. I recommend you pause this video, solve and verify your answer. I am solving for you, but please try to solve by yourself. 1 upon pi, let's integrate. First point, use brackets properly. x as it is, sin s, nx integration is minus cos nx upon n minus x derivative is 1, integration of this term, minus constant cos nx is sin nx upon n square, 1 derivative is 0, no need to go ahead, this is from 0 to pi, further plus, in the second integration u as it is, that is 2 pi minus x as it is, sin nx integration is minus cos nx upon n minus its derivative is minus 1 integration minus constant cos nx is minus cos nx sin nx upon n square. No need to go ahead. This is pi to 2 pi. And this is the final bracket. What next friends? Step number 1 done. Now I'm going to apply step number 2 and step number 3. What is that? Sign encounter and use brackets properly. This will be encountered. This will be encountered. 1 upon pi. Let's simplify before substitution. This will be minus x cos nx upon n. No cheating. Please do it properly. This is from 0 to pi. Plus this term. If you see this term, minus outside 2 pi minus x cos nx upon n. From pi to 2 pi. Let us substitute the limits. 1 upon pi upper limit if you put pi this will be minus pi this will become cos n pi cos n pi is minus 1 raised to n upon n 
minus lower limit if you put a zero and diadem is zero because here we do have x if you put zero that will become zero plus let's put in this integration 2 pi if i'll put 2 pi if i'll put here 2 pi minus 2 pi is zero the entire term is zero minus lower limit if i'll substitute pi this is minus if i'll put pi here 2 pi minus pi is pi if i'll put here cos n pi minus 1 raised to n upon n if you check this term is minus and this term is plus therefore that will be cancelled bn answer is 0 we got all the terms a0 an and bn let's write it on the final solution therefore final f of x is a0 by 2 summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity an cos nx plus summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity bn sin nx let us substitute the values that we got a0 we got it at friends as pi that is pi by 2 plus if you observe the answer of a n c here for even the answer is 0 and it exists only for odd to so see the way i am writing this solution here it will be n is equal to 1 3 5 because the solution exists only for odd values up to infinity and a n value is minus 4 upon pi n square with that cos n x and b n value we got it as 0. This is the required solution for the given Fourier series. Hope you understood. Thank you.